Howdy, I'm Dr. Mark Ferris, and I am dedicated to separating fact from fiction regarding topics of exercise and healthful eating. Glucomonin, the famous superfiber, got a major boost in 2015 when a review promoted its benefit in weight loss. But is this claim fact or fiction? Glucomonin sponge-like effect in the digestive tract most likely comes from the overly hyped ingredient called Amorphophallus konjac. It contains a fiber that dissolves in water and ferments somewhat like yeast in the colon. This substance is taken from an elephant yam native to Asia. Glucomonin has been endorsed by many as the super fiber because it can reportedly absorb 50% of its weight in water. So it creates a mass effect of this thick, sticky, gel-like mass that forms in the stomach. If you've ever seen what happens when you put water in a glass with either Metamucil or psyllium husk, this is a similar effect. Now imagine, or not, this gel-like mass eking its way through your stomach, intestines, and colon. The claims regard glucomonin's absorption of water and its proposed abilities to, one, provide a sense of fullness, bulk up food in your gut so you cannot eat as much, thus reducing your energy intake, or lowering the weight ratio of food, much like vegetables do already. Well, the hype for glucomonin became extraordinary when a review appeared to show in favor of it for weight loss. However, soon after the publication, the authors were made aware of some errors in the manuscript and had to send in a letter to the editor to fix these corrections. In the letter, the authors state, after correction with the new data, it turned out that after two weeks, there is a statistically significant difference in favor of the placebo and in line with previously reported results. No statistically significant difference in effect after eight weeks is observed. Similar to the difference in weight loss between study groups, BMI change seemed to have little clinical significance due to very small values in spite of the reported statistically significant effect. So in summary, this review found that glucomonin was not more effective than a placebo. No differences in the change in body fat, total fat mass, and waist and hip circumference alongside no differences in perceived appetite or energy intake with a 12-week intervention. I recommend that we enjoy the many wonderful benefits of fiber through beans, flax, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and fruit. Start slowly and shoot for around 25 to 45 grams of fiber per day. So the claim that glucomonin is a super fiber essentially needs clarification. However, the claim that glucomonin will promote large amounts of weight loss is busted.